As you move to the implementation of a one-to-one -one program, one of the questions top of mind is no doubt about the shift in role in the role of the teacher in a technology-rich environment. How does the dynamic change between students and teachers? We thought to find the answers to this, we should go and talk to teachers and ask them what had been the impact on their role in the way they worked with students in their schools. We went to talk to a number of teachers who were in technology-rich one-to-one environments at schools around the world. We all remember what classrooms were like before laptops. I mean, 15 years ago when I started, you could have a textbook given to you and that was basically the curriculum. A couple of years ago, uh, uh, the teacher was uh, the, the professor type who knew all about uh, his subject. We were kidding ourselves when we thought in the old classroom where everybody was sitting in rows and one person was talking, everybody was learning. I mean, you know, we have that, th all, all you've got is, is a controlled classroom, not necessarily one where everybody's learning. But with one-to-one -one learning, the role of teacher changes dramatically. First, teachers give up the notion of standing in front of the class, disseminating knowledge. What's really interesting about the role of the teacher is that uh, we're less the fount of all knowledge and more a conductor of exploring questions together. You haven't got to stand up in front of the students and didactically teach them. You can set, you can set up the technology so they engage in a far more immersive way, like, like the use of project-based learning. The end result's the same, except along the way they've, they have developed skill sets alongside their understanding of the, the content Without the need to always be the expert, the teacher takes on new roles as coach, mentor, guide. Subject or factual knowledge is everywhere, you know, content is everywhere and data is everywhere, so the real currency, the real power of, of good teaching has shifted to the kind of creation of a powerful learning environment, of a networked learning environment, you know, of a networked classroom, of a learning culture. In that culture, the teacher often works alongside students, helping them interpret data, guiding them toward new understanding, asking questions that provoke new ideas. The teacher is also open to being a co-learner with the students. I'm learning from them, they're learning from me, they're learning from each other, and that we're headed toward, you know, headed towards some larger areas of understanding. Finally, the teacher no longer works in isolation. Powerful things happen when teachers work in teams, a give and take of learning and teaching with other teachers. So the teachers can use their uh, different strengths and weaknesses in helping teaching all of the kids instead of having my class, my students, my subjects, helping each other. As learning takes place in new ways, so must teaching.